Good morning, guys. It's icy again. Girls are collecting icicles. I'm Did not you get some? The grass. Ew, they're gross. Look at how dirty. Anyway, it's Tuesday for us, Wednesday for you, and we are up and out already. It's cold. Come on, Sophie. Yeah. You always get the best icicles. Look how huge. <laughs> Here, let's do up your coat. Then I get over here. Do you guys want the whole world to see you fighting? Yeah. Yeah, why? So we have all the ice in China. There's no ice in China. Yeah. All the ice in Canada. It's all in Canada. That's right. All the ice is in Canada. It's minus eight right now. It, apparently, I don't know what it is with the wind chill. It's cold. Cold enough, I need to wear mitts. Cold enough, the girls need to wear snow pants just because it's cold out, not even because they need to be protected from the wet. You guys know how every night the girls do their nightly reading and then I read to them from a book? Well, we just started reading a new book last night called The Skeleton Tree. It is so good. So if you guys have anybody who's looking for a good book for middle-aged kids, middle school age kids, um, The Skeleton Tree by Ian. Ian, what's his last name? Ian something. Anyway, it's so, so good. We're only like three chapters in and it was good right from the beginning. Mom, where's the shovel? Why? What do you need the shovel for? I need to get those two big icicles for. Holy cow! Don't go back there, it's dangerous. Can you guys see them? Better from over here. I get the biggest one. We're not getting them. Come on, we have to go to school. Just imagine. Soon it'll be so warm outside. We'll come out and they'll be able to like run and play before school starts. Yeah, I don't know when that's gonna happen because it's already April. You know, it's still cold here lots of times at the end of May. It's not crazy. But when we do get summer, we have a temperate climate. So when we do get summer, it's so hot. So are you excited for church today? I mean, when is church? In two more days? Yeah. Today's the fifth or the After sixth? After tomorrow. Fifth. After tomorrow. Guys, do you want to see my toy pocket? Is that where you put all your toys? That's where she stuffs all of her toys. I only have three bugs. But you just have four. Bus driver always makes a comment about Sophia's backpack and she's always saying, why is her backpack so full? And it's because she packs it full of toys. You can never come between a girl and her bag, whether it's a backpack or a purse. Apparently you found makeup in your bag. You know, when you're little, when you're six, you need makeup at school, right? Just in case, let's say your bloody lip that you got yesterday. How's it look? Oh, it went right away. Stick it out. Stick your lip out. Wow, your lips look cute. Mm -hmm. I get bloody lips from apples. Yeah, I used to, I used to bite That's an apple and I get a bloody lip. Was good. Just good. Did you like your lunch? Yeah. It's dark in here. You like your lunch? No, I only ate the cheese. Ah. Only one big cheese. Because all of it fell apart in there. I'm not building it. You're not building your sandwich because it fell apart. That is silly. That is silly. How was school? Yeah, good. Good. That's good. Your lunch was good too? Yep, I ate the whole thing, but except for some of the pieces of quest. Oh, what you're gonna eat now, right? No. What? Well, I guess what we're gonna have for supper. It's better when you put it in the bag. Oh, I forgot. I needed to get some more bags. I went to the. This morning I was making lunch and. Somebody used all the sandwich bags, so I, for, for Gabby's sandwich, 
I had to put it into a, a container and uh, I guess that's why it fell apart. And you know what? I just came back from the grocery store, get something for dinner and I forgot bags. So maybe I have to go uh, down and get bags from the store. What do you need to get? No, don't. Do that for get summer. Baby stuff. No, we're not getting baby <laughs> stuff. Are you silly? You want more baby stuff. Yeah. You want more baby stuff. Yeah, I always want baby stuff. This. Well, I'm going to cook supper. I'm going to have to wash this. Because that's what I do when I get home. Cook supper. Um, I need you to get your prize out. Did you hear on the radio your mom won a prize? No. I'll have to ask her about it today. Well, what's the prize? The prize was for her and me to go out for dinner. I'm coming. For her and me to go out for dinner. Well, Nick can't stay because um, they give us because he's always rude. When we go for over dinner, we'll buy pizza for you guys. Yay, gluten though. Dad, I need you to get the pliers out. Why? Because I need to fix, to fix my necklace. Take your tooth part? Oh, your necklace broke? Yep. These things are supposed to snap in these oh. holes. Oh. So. That's terrible. Yeah, I can fix that. I can fix can that. Can it now? Yep. Yay. I'm go get my pliers. But Dad, um, one of these little circle things has to go in the hole. Let me look at and it. And then the other one you have to push in. Yeah, let me look at it. Oh, it's just, you can push in with your hands. You don't need pliers. You put it in there, and then I go like this, and done. Hey. It's done. It's fixed. Don't pull on it, or it'll fall off again. And Dad, the hero, saves the day and fixes the necklace. See how easy that was? So I was outside and putting away some stuff, and I said to the girls when they got home from school, no iPads tonight. Tonight we are going to get homework done and get everything done, because it's been like 20 after 7 before I've been able to get them into bed, and they've been grouchy at night. So I said, no iPads, and I come inside, Dad is cooking supper, Sam is cooking supper, and I wanted pasta tonight. And this is happening. What did mommy say about iPads? We didn't watch our iPads. But what did mommy say? You can watch your iPads. I did not. I said no iPads. What did I say about iPads, Missy? No iPads. And what are you doing? Watching my iPads. Why? Cuts. Well, it's time to turn them off because we have lots to do. No, see that whine, that whiny voice in there? That's why mommy said no iPad. It's so funny though, Sophie had her baby outside today, all warm. Isn't she cute? Isn't she so cute? Go back to sleep. Okay, five more minutes guys and then iPad's away. Anyway, you'll never believe what happened to me today. Yeah, I heard your name on the radio. <gasps> What? No, you didn't. Yeah, I heard your name and said Laura and said your last name and said you won tickets for dinner for us. Wow, that's awesome. Did I really win? Yeah. Sam's always at work joining, signing up for things on the radio, calling in. Do you guys do that? Radio competitions nope, or whatever? Know. All the people in his office do it. Did you say you were me? I, um, no, just no. I had someone at work call in. And say they were me. Oh, that's awesome. So I won what I win. Were you shocked what yeah, I won? For two. I won dinner for two. That's awesome. Well, we're going to have to go because we are. No, me and Sam are going to go. What? Date night. <laughs> Date night for you and Sam? No. All right. If you guys wanted to do that, I wouldn't <laughs> care. I'd just stay home with the girls. I like to go. Sam is like the awesomest guy ever when we're alone and we are out on a date. We did it last year. Last February, we went on a date. Sit. Remember? Was it last February? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. It's been a long year. Anyways, so that's awesome. Where are we gonna go? There's like six different restaurants. Six or nine different. Are they super fancy? We went to a fancy restaurant last time and it was so fun. I love that. Let's do one closer though. That was far oh, from where we live. They're all in the Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so anyway, this is what happened today. I won an award at the book selling thing as for books and I got to pick $100 in books. So uh, I got to pick $100 in books. So I picked them and I had to send the order in separately from how I usually put in an order and it didn't go through and they didn't text me or they didn't email me any verification that they got my order. So I had to phone her today and say like, hey, where are my books? And she said, 
Um, oh yeah, I just got that. I'm gonna put it in today and then you'll have your books probably on Friday. I was like, okay, cool. And then she said, but I noticed that the books that you have ordered right now, your hostess was in Edmonton, but the books are coming to your house. And I was like, what? Because I swear it took me all day just to put that order in because I had two different sets of books going to two completely different provinces and three different sets of books actually. So I'm coming to my house, I'm going to another girl's house and so I'm going to Edmonton. And she said, yeah, and she sent me this paper that I didn't know what it said on it, but she said it meant that all the books are coming to my house. And I started freaking out thinking, oh my gosh, like hundreds of dollars worth of big, huge, heavy books. And I was gonna have to ship them to all over the place. And then I freaked out and was looking around and I emailed her back and I said, well, they sent me this paper, this invoice saying that my shipment that my order went through and it looked like on the order form that I did everything right and I saw three different addresses so I sent it back to her and I was like kind of crying a little freaking out and she said she sent my, me a note back saying oh yeah I couldn't see all the information on the screen I was looking at you did it right and I was like oh thank goodness like what in the world why scared me the scare the heck out of me like that can you imagine yeah Trouble. Yeah, that would be so horrible. Show me, what did we get? Well, these are the restaurants <gasps> to go to. Mmm, that looks amazing. That looks gross. Is there anything gluten free? Wow. Yeah. So when you go, um, it's just a menu. You Steak don't and like. Fries. Steak and fries. Ew. Seafood pasta. Beet salad, hand formed ravioli, house made potato ganache. Prinzen farm chicken. I don't know. I don't like that one. I don't even can't even pronounce that stuff. Mmm, it all looks yummy. So we narrowed it down to three different restaurants. So apparently we have to go get the tickets. They're like gift certificates, but then if we get there early enough, we have a choice. Because I guess the contest is all week and everybody wins every day, so. If you get there early enough, you get a choice at what restaurant you can go to. So we're, we narrowed down the three restaurants we're gonna pick based on the menus on the website. And uh, we didn't wanna go to the same place as last year. Yeah, it should be super exciting. Probably gonna go this weekend, maybe Friday. Oh, we can't go Friday, maybe Saturday. Who knows? We don't know. We're going. Okay, so it's one of those busy nights again and we're gonna end tonight's vlog. And we'll see you tomorrow. Ready for homework? I have to memorize the thing. Oh, you gotta memorize the speech. Homework time, let's get going. Good night. <laughs>